Hello everyone. Let me take you to the end of 18th century. In year 1781, James Watt invented steam engine, and very soon he discovered certain problems with that engine. One of the problem was when the load of the engine was increasing, the speed of the engine was decreasing, and when the load of the engine was decreasing, the speed of the engine was increasing. And this has a lot to do with the efficiency. You can see speed versus efficiency curve here. As the speed increases, first the efficiency increases, and after a certain point, the efficiency drops. And you can also see one thing here that within a certain range of speed, we got we get the maximum efficiency. And if the speed is fluctuating a lot, obviously the efficiency will drop. So for this reason, it is very essential to maintain the speed to the mean speed for any engine. And for this, he used a device. and that device is known as governor so what actually is the function of governor what does the governor do governor maintains the speed of the engine how the how how it maintains the speed of the engine as the you, you can see one thing here the speed depends on two factors first factor is the load as i told you as the load of the engine increases the speed decreases and second factor is the amount of fuel supplied as the amount of fuel supply increases the speed of the engine increases and as the amount of fuel supply decreases the speed of the engine decreases okay so what 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 should be done so as the load is increasing if we are increasing the amount of fuel supply because of the increased load the speed will drop and because of the amount of fuel supply increased the speed will rise okay so this will balance the speed this will maintain the speed okay so governor is a device which maintains the speed how it maintains the speed as the load increases it increases the fuel supply so as to maintain the speed and as the load decreases it decreases the fuel supply so as to maintain the speed okay so this is actually the function of governor let us discuss about the functioning the working of the centrifugal governor so this is the simple type of centrifugal governor you can call it as watt governor which was first used these are the different parts these are the fly balls the arms the spindle links sleeve the bevel gears bell crank lever throttle valve and working fluid working fluid is flowing through this pipeline to the engine this bevel gears are connected with the with engine and because of this bevel gear this spindle will rotate which will further rotate this fly wheel fly ball sorry and as the fly ball is rotating an outward centrifugal force is acting on this fly ball which will try to move this fly ball in outward direction and which will further raise this spindle now what actually happens what happens when the load of the engine is increasing just understand this thing very carefully when the load of the engine is increasing the speed of engine will drop as the speed of the engine drops the speed of this bevel gear will decrease the speed of this spindle will decrease less centrifugal force is acting on this fly ball and this spindle will move down because the centrifugal force acting is less as the speed is decreasing the centrifugal force acting will be less and this spindle will move down and this spindle is connected to the throttle valve with the help of bell crank lever and as this spindle is moving down this throttle valve will tend to open okay and as this throttle valve is opening more working fluid will be supplied to the engine which will produce more speed and we can maintain the speed from there so as the load is increasing the speed decreases but because of this throttle valve opens and the working fluid amount of working fluid is increasing so the speed maintains on the contrary if the load is decreasing now what will happen if the load is decreasing the speed of the engine will increase so the speed of this spindle will increase so this will increase the speed of this fly ball more amount of centrifugal force will be acting here more amount of centrifugal force will be acting here the spindle the sleeve will lift the spi the sleeve will be lifted and because of when the speed when the sleeve is lifted this this will close this throttle valve that means the amount of fuel supplied will be less to the engine which will further decrease the speed and hence the speed can be maintained getting this now so this is the simple functioning of this uh, uh, fly ball governor or you can call it as watt governor 
Now let us let us understand this with the help of 3D animation. Now this is our governor. As the load increases, this the speed of this bevel gear will decrease. The speed of the spindle will decrease. This will de this will uh, decrease the centrifugal force acting on the flyball, and flyball will tend to move inwards, which will further lower the speed, lower the sleeve, and this sleeve is further connected to the throttle ball with the help of bell crank lever so when the sleeve is getting lowered this throttle valve will be open okay so if the throttle valve is getting open more amount of fuel is coming and further the speed can be maintained on the contrary if the load is decreasing what will happen now the speed of the spindle will increase the speed of the flyball will increase more amount of centrifugal force will be acting so this flyball will tend to move outwards which will further raise the sleeve and through this sleeve the throttle valve is connected with the help of bell crank lever <coughs> so that throttle valve will get closed that means less amount of working fluid will pass and the speed can be maintained okay so this is the complete functioning of this centrifugal type of governor